Hey, hey, hey! You know, eh, in this life, you that sleep with an itchy anus will wake up with a smelling finger. And not say you should smell it too, but you know already. Hey, hey, hey! Miriam said nobody will rest too. That's what Miriam just woke up and said. That nobody will rest in the Onifest Palace. That, that Cadillac, that $650 million, $80,000 car, that governor Adeleke, Ademola Adeleke of Oshu State, that car that they bought for Oni of Ife, that she is the one that should give that car because since they gave Oni that car, Oni have not entered that car. Yes. And she overheard Oni saying that the first person that went to that car is Naomi. So that means Oni have plans of giving Naomi that car. Hey, hey, hey. So right now she said instead of Naomi to get that car, that KBAC will give that car to her as the first lady that she is. That right now she is the first lady. But KBAC is in denial. But why KBAC is in denial is because KBAC does not want to offend certain people. He said, but when two of them are inside the house, KBAC will be telling her that, ah, she's the best thing that have happened after Friday. Am. KBAC will be telling her that she is the best woman. KBAC will be telling her that she is the glory of the land. Because why? Most of the things that he achieved, that he's through her finances. He's through her money. So why won't she be the first to eat the fruit of the labor? My brothers, my sisters. It's not a small thing, no. Hmm. When she now went and tabled this matter before KBAC, KBAC now asked her that he doesn't understand her. That how does she even think? Like, how do you even think? Why should I carry the car that a whole governor? I am the first monarch. The first monarch that got that kind of car in the whole Nigeria. If it is a lie, go and ask. Yes, I am the first monarch, free. That is to show you that my people love me so much. My governor liked me so much. When Yaya Bello was in power, that is close to your family, what did he do for you? That is how Yaya Bello collected stray bullets for what is not his business. He said, yes, what did Yaya Bello do for you? That you said I should collect the car. Car that Governor Adeleke gave me. Yes. If it is not me, you will you have seen the video? That is how I brought the video to the house. All of you saw the video. You were snapping picture with the video. You said, I should bring the video for your birthday as who will you be? Hmm. Only, only now started remembering all the bad, bad things, all the things that Miriam have done to him. That is why Oni now told Miriam that please, please, that he doesn't want to see her close to that car. As a matter of fact, Oni now have to call his chief security. He now have to call all the security apparatus and told them that he doesn't want to see Miriam any inch close to his car. That Miriam is an intruder. That how will Miriam even think that kind of thing? That there are some things that you're not even supposed to think. How will Miriam just wake up and say he should give him that car? Why would she say that? And Miriam said yes, because you know at the end of the day, only will either give that car to Naomi or give it to Tade, since Tade is his first son. Princess Adeola will go and marry. Princess Adewa Miwa will go and marry. So who will remain? Who will inherit the car? She, she is here. She doesn't have a picking for Oni. She will not be suffering. It's only her. Her own is to suffer. She will go and hustle all your money. She will go and meet all these big, big, all your money people. She will tell them, come and invest with Oni. Come and invest with Oni. After they invest with Oni, Oni will take the, the, the dividends and go and give Naomi. That is she, that is Miriam, that is supposed to be eating 10%. As a matter of fact, that Oni is supposed to be paying tight to him. That you can imagine. You can imagine. That during this uh, uh, festival that finished, Oni did not even introduce him as his breadwinner. <laughs> hey! That is when Oni now said, I don't understand. Why should I? Are you my breadwinner? I say, yes. That half of Oni wealth belongs to her. She owns 70% 70, 70 of Ajaja Mo. Half of Oni wealth belongs to her. So nobody should come and come and tell her she does not deserve. That she deserves all the respect. She deserves all the dragging. Anybody that see her dragging, they don't understand what she has been through. Anybody that see her talking, they don't understand she, what she has been through. That she, Miriam, she has been through a lot. That she, Miriam, she has been through a lot, though. So she deserves that car. That she wants to rock that car. As a matter of fact, one of their village people is doing wedding next week. That is that car that she will rock. 
Yes, so by correct, correct people, nothing missing, nothing broken. When I heard this particular matter, I say, hey, now wow, some people to do well. Hey, hey, hey. Some people what? Some people to do well. Hmm. No be smart, you know. But they say only fix her to where she belongs to. Only told her that never her in her life tried that thing she does did. That she should never try that statement in this life again. What is they should give you the Cadillac as who way you be? As who? That even if she put jazz in her mouth, let her clean it. Even if her Babala will assure her, let her go and tell Babala will that oh new of if I did not agree, it did not work. At that point, they say Miriam was foaming. It's not a small matter. Hmm. That only was so angry. Only was hitting table. Only was saying, what kind of thing is this? That he cannot rest. That he cannot rest. Why is it that he cannot rest? Eh? Why is it that he cannot rest? Of all the things in this life, why is it that Miriam is always asking for 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 things that 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 does not make sense? Why is it that Miriam cannot ask for what her mate is asking for? Yes. Why is it that Miriam cannot ask for what her mates are asking for? That is so appealing that. Miriam is always on, on the wrong side of life. That Miriam is always doing things that Miriam is not supposed to do. And that he's so tired. That his tiredness is tired. If they tell him that Miriam's age, Miriam will still be doing this thing. He will say it's a lie. But look at it. Miriam continues to do one thing over and over again. Yes, so my correct, correct people. Hmm. And the reason why she even wants this, not that it's because of anything. No. It's just because of Queen Naomi. Because she felt, oh, Nima, I go and give it to Queen Naomi. Oh, Nima, I carry it and give it to Queen Naomi. So the fear of Queen Naomi is the beginning of wisdom. The only person they are afraid of and they are shaking is, oh, is, is, is Queen Naomi. Once it's Queen Naomi like this, that's how their body will be shaking. Their body will be shaking. So my brothers, my sisters, oh, right now, eh, hmm, they say Miriam says she's not taking no for answer. Oh, that that car, she must have it. That that car, she must have it. There anything that want to happen, let the thing happen. But you see that particular car that she's going to have it. That car be a sick car ran from Nati next year. That she already has the second key of the car. That is when the thing shocked car be a sick. Hey, hey. Auntie, you have the second key of the car. How? When? How? Even car be was shocked. But they say uncle be shocked no more. Don't go far. Don't be shocked. Because why? This woman, they mean you. Oh, he's saying, how did she enter my inner room? She now said, oh, you forgot that I was the one that slept with you yesterday. <laughs> it's like even KBS is forgetting people that enter his room. So right now, I think KBS should be going to this woman's room and meeting them. Let them, not, let them not be coming to his room because it's like anytime they come to his room, they are always having one problem or, his, or the other. Anytime they come to his room, they are always, they are, they are always misbehaving. So as it is like this, uh, only should just sanction them. Let them stay one place. Let everybody day their day because this embarrassment is becoming too much. I just said I should come and let you guys know what's happening on the social media street. See you guys later. Now you guys should do it to subscribe, like, comment, and bye for now. Bye-bye.